Well, my wedding anniversary is May 7th, so maybe we could just do something about love. But then I thought, wait a minute, May 7th, that's also the day that Germany gave up, they, they surrendered. So if you want to go on either theme of love or war, and just leave it at that. So like you got your choice of that era. So I surrender to love. No. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, anything like that. I mean, is, is, that, a, is that an okay idea? Yeah. 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 You know, you know, whether they're combined or separate, or you know, just take either one and work with that. And oh. so there you have it. That was my turn. Um, because I'm the host, I've got a little time. The only thing I had that had a theme for uh, parades is one really short poem that's in this book. This was the first, third book I ever had printed called Close Cover Before Striking. It was this bright green cover, and when I had it printed for the second time, I'm like, well, I might as well have matches, because you close the cover before straight uh, So might as well use that for the cover in the second printing yeah. of it. Um, this is a really short one in it. That's called That Dress. Both years I went to prom, you made me my dress. The first, pink and mauve. I looked like a parade float, I think. <laughs> The next year, something a bit more dramatic. I wanted black with a touch of ivory. You convinced me to have ivory with a touch of black. <laughs> you made a dress with a fitted jacket. I could take my jacket off, wear a pair of long black gloves. You know, you never liked having your picture taken, Mom. But I'll always keep that photo taken just before my prom night of the two of us. I'm leaning my head on your shoulder. I love that dress. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. box of candy is all you need to make everything better. And you still say I need to lose some weight. Sure, feed me candy. Okay. <laughs> I love apology candy as much as I love sorry flowers. <laughs> and people at the office are saying I must, be, I must be a great girlfriend because I'll get flowers at the office. But then I tell them that they are sorry flowers, uh, and that the worst kind of flowers are sorry yeah. flowers, because you'd rather have no flowers than the that you two were all happy all the time. And no one understands what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and neither do you. So, goodbye. Insanely <laughs> 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 short ones are from the Changing Gears show, was about travel around the United States. They both have to be in California. First one's called On the California Streets. We were walking along Santa Monica Boulevard, and we passed a young homeless man, and he asked, could you spare $100,000? <laughs> and I thought, of course he won't get it, but of all the places in the world, this is the only place where he can get away with asking for it. <laughs> I spent a week in Los Angeles recently, visited Beverly Hills, Hollywood, Brentwood. I shot the Hollywood sign and Marilyn Monroe's handprint in concrete, took my picture with Tom Jones's star. <laughs> but the one thing I noticed was the, at among, that um, amongst the shops that line the streets of every neighborhood, there were quite a few pet spas. Hmm. Pet spas, hmm. I thought. Pet spas. <clears throat> So I'm going to just suck this up and sing it. Um, this was from a show called The Night of Firsts, and it had the first poem I ever wrote, Under the Sea. And it also had my first song. Wait, by the way, Under the Sea was published in Reed Magazine, so I was a published author at 10 or something. <laughs> anyway, but this was the first song I ever wrote. Oh, God, this is going to be so weird, but I'm just going to sing for it. <laughs> Which some people might have heard in concert. This one's called In Love I Abide. We started a commotion when you walked in the place. I was flooded with the emotion when I first saw your face. And so I had to find out if there was a chance we could be. But I couldn't understand how you could only want me. And it's time to find my love grew stronger than before. But I never dreamt I'd get what I was wishing for. 
So don't be afraid to let your feelings show Because I love to stay and I won't let you go In love I abide, for to love I am bound And I'll stay by your side with this love that I found We parted other people when you walked in the room when I saw your eyes blue eyes, I knew you would be mine soon. But I couldn't understand how I fell for you so fast. And I only hoped our feelings for each other would last. Well, do you believe that fate could make us feel this way? Because I know that a love like ours is gonna stay. So don't be afraid to let your feelings show. Because our love is stay, and I won't let you go. In love I will buy, for to love I am bound, and I'll stay by your side with this love that I found. And this time and bomb I love grew stronger than before, but I never dreamt I'd get what I was wishing for. So don't be afraid to let your feelings show, because our love has stayed, and I won't let you go. In love I will buy, for to love I am bound, and I'll stay by your side with this love that I found. All right. Thank you. 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 I was at a um, wine bar with a show in Round Rock. Round Rock. It was Round Rock. Was in like was it the beginning of April or was it the end of March? I can't remember. Somewhere in April. It was somewhere. And then and then uh, I did in South by South last week. I did an hour yeah, show did. at uh, at uh, Recycle Reads. And so oh, yeah, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know is thinking about, but then I have to do all original stuff, so I have to write it. But I figured I would end the show with something that is appearing in this book. This was in my last performance art show at the High Center, and it will also be the last poem in one of my shows in Chicago. And this is a poem called The Only Voice He Could Hear. When I was 10, I was the queen of Hawaii in a school play. Other students in my court kneeled around me and dancers entertained us, all while I sat on a throne. I took advanced classes, was even a tough ten speller, who spelled the longest word in the English dictionary, numero ultra microscopic silicone volcanic coniosis. And at this point, I thought that I could do anything. So I learned a little French, but I don't know, I must have missed my petit déjeuner because I was feeling a bit peckish and wanted something more. I joined choir, even sang at my graduation ceremony with classmates before I went to high school because even at the ripe old age of 13, I wanted to live by the words of the song we sang. Climb every mountain, forge every stream, follow every rainbow until you find your dream. Before the final graduation ceremony, an older man in a suit blazed with medals and ribbons from the American Legion came up on stage to award one student in the entire school with the American Legion Award which seemed like the highest honor anyone could ever <laughs> achieve. And when they said my first name, I wondered, there's another student in the school with that name. How, how did they win? Because I couldn't believe it when they said my last name. And I walked up onto that stage to get my medal from what I was sure was the nicest man I had ever met in my entire life. <sighs> Once graduation ended and I saw my family, my father told me that during the choir performance, I was the only voice he could hear. Oh. 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 We all need to take a group picture. I heard each and every one of you. I hope you've had a good time here this time. And then you'll have to, you know, trek three miles back to your car or wherever yeah. it might be. <laughs> so we should yeah. take a picture and I don't know how we want to do what or stand or what or something. I have a bunch of things I don't know. Because let's. We always have that in the way. I can take that one here or Sorry, I already have that. But now that, and then some. Oh, I should have my camera up. Oh, you know, um, John did a song. He should be here. Hi, I'm the tall one. Should I? 
I'm the host. This is crazy and goofy. I'm going to lay across the table. Just because I'm tall. I don't think. Well, it's just going to be too. Is this okay for me to do, Joe? It'll probably work. Okay. Is it sure? Well, I won't be tall then. How about that? No, I won't show that book. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So somebody go over and lay and act like they like me because I'm host or something. Hi, get over here, people. I hurt you all. Four, three, two, one. Four. Jeez. I'm going to take multitudes of photos. You do. I lost my books for a little while. Oh, well. Oh, is that what she did? I'm going to pick it up and she took oh. the other one. <laughs> And it's Tom. Four. Shut the door. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, so many. Is this okay like this? I figure I'm taller than everybody, so why don't I do something like this? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's actually snake. Five, six, seven, six. You'd just be in Chicago. And, mm -hmm. What is that? You're seven, tall? What? Eight. What's after eight? That's an eight. Ah. You are great. Poetry Lounge's great. Nine, ten. Do it again. 